Hello my crafty friends, it's Arva. Welcome back to my channel. I am here to show what I created for the spooky pack swap that was hosted by Brittany, who is BB's Craft, in her Patreon group, which is BB's Crafty Peeps. I will leave a link down below so that you can come and join us. I'm sure everybody in the group would love to have you, especially Brittany. We have a lot of fun in that group, so come check us out. So, for this swap, we... It was a one-on-one -on -one swap. My partner is Chandra from Stocked and Stuffed. I'll leave a link um, down in the description box to her YouTube channel. We had to create four sets of two embellishments, one sequin mix, five different die cuts, three of each, and one of them had to be on pattern paper, um, a $5 goodie, an edible goodie, an altered or handmade notebook with a pen, and of course, it was going to be packaged in a backpack. So, to start what I am sending, Chandra, I um, found these cute little um, treat boxes at the Dollar Tree. And so, um, she told me that she likes hand creams and things of that nature. So, I picked up Midnight Peony from Bath & Body Works. Midnight, um, you know, for Halloween, I thought would be a good one but still smell good so and then um i got her a spiced caramel pumpkin hand sanitizer can never have too much hand sanitizer if you ask me but um this is part of her five dollar goodie and then she told me that she liked dark chocolate without nuts and fruity gummies which is something that I love as well. So one of those gummies that she liked, the chewy candies, was mamba. So I picked up some mamba fruit chews for her and um, a lint dark chocolate, dark, dark chocolate. Woo, it's early in the morning, guys. I can't talk. Dark chocolate bar. So I hope she'll enjoy this little treat. And I just put her little edible goodies in this cute little bag that I picked up from Michael's. And so, this is the backpack that I created for Chandra. I hope that she likes it. This is a Cricut file. And for you Silhouette users, I just went back and forth. I have created a file, an SVG for this, so that it can be used on um, Silhouette and Brother Scan and Cut. I've got to test it a couple more times. But as soon as I can, I will um, share this file with any of my subscribers. So on the front, I just did a little cluster here. I have a gold doily in the back, the black cat, a rosette, this little um, chipboard uh, jack-o'-lantern, a wood witch hat, and a little ghost coming out. And then it says beautiful. And then I used one of those jeweled spider rings and just attached it at the top. And it is closed with Velcro. Oh, I forgot that I did also add some of the um, mesh tubing at the top just for decoration. Okay. So, first up is my altered notebook. So, this is one of those um, medium-sized uh, composition books. And so, I just added some scrapbook paper. And then, this is a silhouette file. So, I just cut a little piece in the back to make it stand out from the busy paper. I added a wood spider and then a spider web ribbon and then Happy Halloween here. And then I just added some dotted paper on the back. This is from one of those um, all season stacks from Hobby Lobby at Paper Studio. Okay. And I have another one of those little treat boxes for her. Uh oh. And then this one. We were supposed to try to package the sequin mixes kind of differently. So I actually made her two. One that was more um, brightly colored and one that was more metallics. We have spiders and stars and jack-o'-lanterns. This one we have boo. We have diamond dot spiders, bats. So hopefully she'll get a good use out of these. And then I also included, um, this is a die that has um, all types of Halloween words, boo, Halloween, um, rest in peace. And I included the tittles in a separate bag for her so they wouldn't get lost. But um, there's about 12 words um, 
included there. I didn't want that to be part of the die cuts, so I just added those as an extra. Then I made one of the KS Crafts little boxes, and the first thing we have is her pin. So I just used one of the beadable pins and added um, a jack-o'-lantern bell here. On the front, oh, I forgot to tell you, I decorated it just with one of the little wood pieces, and it says Happy Halloween. And to go along with the rest of her $5 goodies, I picked up this stamp set from Michael's for her. thought that was really cute. And this is where my die cuts are housed. So, the first, set, and what I did is, for each one of the die cuts, I did create something, um, an embellishment separate and apart from the ones that we had to create so that she would just get an idea of how to use it. I know that she doesn't need that, but I just thought I would put one together for her just so she could see it. So in the first bag, I have these little witches hats and I cut them in different colors. I cut the band and then there's a little buckle as well, but I just wanted to show that it could be decorated differently. So I just added a little flower here. And then um, I cut two sizes of the witch's boot. And here's the one that I decorated. With my silhouette, I cut several of these pumpkins. And again, I cut them in different um, patterns so she can mix and match. This is a KS Craft die. And it's the little mailbox and it says boo mail and so I just added a rosette and a little resin piece and then I did the um, potion bottle and instead of putting witch's brew on which is um, what the die cut comes with the dies come with I added a little wood piece that says boo and so those are my five sets of die cuts and then we have my embellishments so she told me that she liked rosettes and bows so I changed up what I was planning to do initially um, so here are my first set of bows this is a silhouette cut file and then I just added some um, resin pieces in the middle for the center and any of these um, files I will link in the description box below and then I will also add um, links to any of the dies that I can find. Then I found this cute jack-o'-lantern uh, rosette file on silhouette. This is a Chaos Craft die for the um, spider web rosette and then I just added some of the um, tool, the snow tool in the back just to give it a little added extra interest. And then um, this season I did pick up the new um, spiderweb bow from Chaos Craft. So I added um, a, a resin piece here and then this spider actually comes with the uh, spiderweb set. So I just added it in the middle and added a gold piece. And this is just a better look at the um, backpack. I really like how it turned out. I've created it before, but this time I did decide, like I said, to make an SVG file so that I could cut it with my um, silhouette. We'll see how it turns out with the silhouette, and then I'll come and show you how it's put together. And like I said, share the SVG. So I hope that Chandra likes what I created for. That's it for today, guys. Take care and have a blessed day. Bye.